Okay, so first things first, I gotta talk about my man Bow Wow, Shad Moss, whatever he wants to call himself now, and what he said the dab was. Now, I know what the dab is. I know if you watch football, you see Cam Newton doing it every Sunday, or whenever they play, Monday game, whatever. He does it. Now, I know that the dab came from the Migos. So they got a song on it. If you haven't seen it, get enough. Get enough. Get enough. Get enough. Bitch, also, did I, if you haven't seen what he said the dab was. The whole world dabbing and they don't even understand or even know what dab is. First of all, dab is a strong way to smoke marijuana, right? It's the purest form of marijuana. It's extremely strong. So the dance comes from when you smoke and you cough and the first thing you do is... <coughs> now, as you can see... Bow Wow or Shad Moss does not know what he's talking about. Are you surprised there? Cause I'm not, but I don't care about that. A lot of music has dropped that I have to listen to. My man R. Kelly just came out with an album called The Buffet, and he has uh, Jeremiah, Ty Dollar Sign, Lil Wayne, my girl Janet Kayo, and he has Tanashi. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa came out with Cabin Fever 3. If you're a Wiz Khalifa fan, I mean, I guess I can see you wanting to listen to that. But honestly, I think Wiz's career is kind of, I can't say over. Because he did have that big song last year for the uh, Fast Five or Fast Furious 6. What the fuck it was called? I seen it. I couldn't say what the name of the movie was. The Fast and Furious movie. He had that song that was only really good because of the hook. But Cabin Fever 3, I might check it out because I still feel like I can still hear that Cushion Orange Juice Whiz. It's one of these days. One of these days. And Currency dropped his album, which I heard wasn't really honest. I didn't hear that. I never liked Currency. I might now, I might get jumped by like the Jet, Jet, Jeff Lights or what is, what is, I don't, I don't know what they do. Whatever sign they do. But came out with that. He has a uh, future on it. He had a lot of trap beats on it. I did listen to a few songs. It's, it's not. It's not your typical currency. So if you're looking for old school currency. It's it's a mainstream currency. But if you're a currency fan, you're still going like we'll be right or die for it. Um, Fifty Cent came out with his mixtape. If you want to drop out that the Canan tape, Canan tape. That's if you even want to still listen to a Fifty Cent tape. So there's a lot of music coming out that you should, you should be checking out now. Something funny happened. I was on YouTube, and you know, you know how your front page of YouTube they give you videos to watch. So I seen something by Complex. I usually don't watch anything by Complex because I don't. Complex just you can't have a whole bunch of uh, white people listening hip hop. It just doesn't doesn't make sense. But they had a, a a story on there, and I only clicked on it because it's a it's a Travis Scott. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to play the audio clip, and I'm going to explain to you the backstory, because I thought this was funny as hell. So, this is, I mean, I can see why you would hate Travis Scott for doing what he did, but this is funny as hell, so I'm, I'm going to play it for you guys. 